Welcome to Madman Ranch. It's your boy Fabian again. Okay, we get down to brass tacks. Now, for those of you who don't know, I am a Trinidadian who lives in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Right? For any Trinidadians planning to move here to live, it's a nice place. But certain things you have to be able to learn to maneuver. Number one, the dialect. Right? I'm going to share some experiences with you that I experienced when I first came to live here with the dialect so that you don't have to go through them as well. Now, there are certain phrases these Vincentians use. All right? Don't embarrass yourself getting confused like myself. Number one, Asgard. Now, I was walking up the hill because there are plenty of hills in St. Vincent. Get used to that. Boy, and the sun was real hot. When I tell you hot, the sun was real hot. So another guy was walking up the hill next to me. So I turned around and said, boy, the sun real hot, eh? He said, man, Asgard? Like, Asgard? Who the hell is Asgard? That must be his name. He probably introduced himself. I said, hello, Asgard. My name is Fabian. Mm -mm. Asgard is not a person. Asgard is come like saying, for real? You know, don't make joke like we're the same thing like that. You serious? Asgard. So when he say, boy, the sun hot there, boy. Asgard. Learn that. The next one. How. When a Vincentian says how, he don't really mean how in the English term. For example, he playing football on a football field, right? We was warming up before the game, so we kicking around the ball. So I find the ball was kind of soft. So I said, brothers, that ball look like it need air, boy. The ball, how? I said, how a ball does need air? You get a pump and you pump, ain't it? So I ask him again. I said, that ball look like it need air, boy. He said, how? So I was quite confused. How the ball need air? I get to understand that when he say how, he mean like, how you mean? Well, yes. It's obvious the ball needs air. So, how don't necessarily mean how to do something or how something should be. It's an affirmation as in, yes. How you mean, boss? Isn't it obvious? Good. The next one, Womack. No. If you don't know me, I'm a cameraman, I'm into photography and videography. So I saw this little kid, he was flying a kite, and I was like, boss, I can take a picture of you, if you don't mind. Womack. Womack. So I started to play with the word over in my mind, Womack. Oh, what make of camera am I using? I said, this is a Canon. Um, you into photography? He watched me even more confused. But actually, Womack means why? What make you want to take the picture of me? Why you want to take a picture of me? Womack means why? Or they take notes or no? So what they do embarrass on yourself like me? I was coaching, right? And these little fellas have a tendency when they come to practice, they leave the bag all over the place on the ground. Now there's a caretaker who does end up taking up these bags every time. So one day she get fed up and she was angry. She seen the bag on the ground. It was in the wrong place as usual. So she say, who for bag this? I was like, what? Then she said it again, who for bag this? So this little child, come and pick up your bag. So I was like, yo, who for? Who for? Why you leave your bag there? Child name wasn't who for. So the next thing she tell him is, where for put this? Where for? Where for put this? So it's like, okay, who, if he's who for, who name where for? She may actually mean where to put your bag. Where's your bag supposed to go? So who for and where for? Who does this belong to? Who for? Where for? Where does this supposed to go? Where is this supposed to go? Right? We learn any dialect. We're going along. First week in St. Vincent Friday, there was a place where everybody's hang out called Heritage Square. 
So me and this guy, Lyman and Heritage Square, having a beer, you know? And um, he say he waiting for his smallie. So I say, aha, I know what that is. Waiting for his girlfriend, right? You have a nice little smallie, girlfriend. So next thing I see, come he say, hey, look my smallie coming. So I turn around to see who is the smallie. I see this big, huge, fat woman walking towards him. He said, Daisy Smalley. I said, Daisy Smalley. I said, partner, you need glasses? What part of this girl small? Small or smally has nothing to do with her size. They refer to all girlfriends in St. Vincent as smallies. So don't expect to see a small woman if somebody referring to the girlfriend as a smallie. Good, we're moving right along. Nice. Now, I don't even know how to explain this last one. This last one took me a couple weeks to unravel. Okay? But let me unravel it for you in two seconds here. I had this partner. He was checking this girl I used to work with, right? Now the girl wasn't gaining any time a day. So one day I see him, I say, oh, how things going with you and so on, so boy. He say, boy, who are we want? Now want are we? And who are, and who are we now want? Want are we? I was like, what? Is English you talking there? He repeated, who are we want? Now want are we? And who are we now want? Want are we? Now I was real confused. Needless to say, I had to write it down and go and decipher it. I ended up asking my wife. What he really trying to say was, who I want, don't want me. And who I don't want, wants me. So that was his predicament. So that word, are we, that phrase, is a phrase you will hear a lot in St. Vincent. It means us, it means me, means I, are we. Okay? So don't think it's a person. All right? So all here, that is my two cents, trying to help all you out. If you don't like that, as usual, put that in your pipe and smoke it.